going on guys I uh I didn't do a uh, reaction video to uh, UAB I didn't figure there was any point um, we look good we come out we just took care of business uh, that's the way it should have been with these uh, non-power five schools uh, we've got a what I think is the toughest game left on the schedule coming up might be uh, against Kentucky this Saturday um, which is my opinion I believe they look more solid across the board than Missouri or Vanderbilt either one um, Missouri has in spells they look great and Vandy surprised us a couple times this year but Kentucky's been fairly solid in what they want to do on the field. And I think that that's going to be our toughest game left of these three. We have to go to Lexington, play on Kroger Field. And uh, I honestly, I, th I think that if Tennessee comes out and they keep doing what they've been doing the past few weeks, it's going to be much like it was last year. We're going to, uh, we're going to destroy them. I know the scenery looks a lot different than my backyard or or inside my house. I'm, I'm actually in uh, South Dakota today. Well, just south of South Dakota line. Got an oversized load going up to uh, uh, Rapid City. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos out here on the road uh, from this point forward. I uh, come back to work for my old company and uh, I'm, I'm loving the hell out of it right now. I'm just waiting to, actually I can leave now, so we'll go ahead and pull out while I finish this up. Anyhow, um, I honestly think that this UK Tennessee game is not going to be much of a game at all really. I look for Tennessee to I think it'll it'll be back and forth, you know, field position in the uh, first uh, in the first half or first quarter, maybe even a little bit into the uh, the uh, second half or quarter. But I think ultimately Tennessee is going to run away with it. I don't think there's much of a uh, uh, comparison. Uh, we have better talent. But we have a. Uh, my opinion a better coach um, and I was high on Mark Stoops I actually wanted Mark Stoops when we hired Bus Jones uh, we didn't get him and now looking at it I'm kind of glad we didn't because I would 10 to 1 rather have Jeremy Pruitt I, I would he's uh, you can see what his defenses are going to do given time you know he's, he's lining everything out uh, but plain and simple, uh, Tennessee's going to beat the piss out of Kentucky this week. And Wesley Gaines, if you say yes, you're an idiot. Uh, some of the shit you come up with, man, is very comical, but a lot of times you're just you just make an ass of yourself. Um, I call it like I see it. I don't think Tennessee is going to have much of a competition from University of Kentucky. I just don't. Uh, I think the score is going to be a lot like it was against UAB. I'm actually going to pick a score of uh, 45 to 17. Uh, I just don't. I, I think we come out and we just we're, we're way too much for them. Um, Kentucky's down this year, and you know we're down in comparison to, but. I think we're a much better ball team, and I've still not heard anything about Mauer. I know a couple of you have asked me if, uh, if I've heard anything about him when we play, and uh, I have not. Um, what I have heard is that chances are they're going to save him. I would love to see him out there in the game against uh, Kentucky. I think we'd have a much better shot. Um, it's good news for UK fans because if you can uh, play the game against Garantano, you have a much better shot of beating us. So 
I don't know what our quarterback situation is going to be right now. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. It's a game day decision again. It's all I've heard. So uh, we'll see how everything plays out. Anyway, uh, see you guys after the game. Uh, I'm going to probably try to do a video at night and get it up here, my reaction. And it might be a good one. It might be one that I say I told you so. But either way, I will have one up here Saturday or Sunday morning. Um, well, you go balls. <laughs>